Uh, is one of those actions um, support for opportunity to facing military losses? Our focus right now is really to have a science-based approach with the Chinese officials. So I'm working closely with the CFI, the Canadian Food Inspection Agency, to have this science-based conversation. We have returned to our samples from uh, the same shipment before it left Canada. We haven't found any kind of pests. Uh, we still believe it's very high quality canola. So this is why we are asking the Chinese officials to provide us with samples or to invite our scientists to go over there and uh, look at the quality of the product. Because obviously if there was a problem, if there is a problem, we, we want to know because we would have to, to act on it. Uh, but uh, this is really what we are focusing on. Obviously, we are having a whole of government approach as we do in many files. Uh, and uh, Minister Freeland, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Minister Carr, Minister of International Trade are also paying attention to the subject. Premier Notley has said that she's worried that hundreds of jobs could be lost in Alberta if this isn't resolved. I know we have uh, one of Richardson's uh, major crushing plants here in uh, the Lethbridge area. Are you concerned about job losses, not just, I guess, monetary losses? I recognize and our government recognize the importance of the agricultural industry. So obviously we are very taking the situation very carefully because if it, uh, if it would you know, remain a problem for a longer time, it, it could be a problem for jobs as well. And we are always you know, paying a lot of attention on that. We want to protect jobs, we want to create more jobs. Uh, but uh, I can tell you that we are working hard on the file. Uh, having these scientific conversations with the Chinese officials and looking uh, in a wider way. But hopefully we will be able, as we have been before, uh, we will be able to find a science-based solution shortly. Madame Bibo, envisagez vous plus d'actions pour uh, débloquer le dossier du canola qui ne semble pas avancer avec la Chine? Il y a déjà beaucoup d'actions qui sont en cours en ce moment. Vraiment, on a une approche basée sur la science avec l'Agence canadienne d'inspection des aliments. Euh, nous sommes retournés voir les échantillons de canola euh, qui avaient été pris avant le départ du, euh, du chargement euh, vers la Chine. On n'a rien trouvé, aucune irrégularité. Donc vraiment, on pousse la conversation avec les autorités chinoises pour leur demander de nous envoyer des échantillons de ce qu'ils ont trouvé euh, ou d'inviter nos spécialistes, nos experts euh, sont aussi prêts à aller là-bas sur le terrain parce qu'évidemment, s'il y a un problème avec euh, nos produits, on voudrait le savoir et pouvoir agir très, très rapidement. Mais pour le moment, on n'a aucune euh, preuve qu'il y aurait quelque sorte quelques irrégularités que ce soit. Donc, vraiment au niveau de la ministre de l'Agriculture, on a une approche scientifique parce que par le passé, on a réussi à régler des situations semblables. Mais évidemment, on travaille avec une approche pan-gouvernementale comme on le fait dans plusieurs dossiers. Je peux vous dire que la ministre des Affaires étrangères, Christian Freeland, et le ministre du Commerce international, Jim Carr, ont, suivent aussi la situation de près. Combien de temps êtes-vous prête à attendre? Bien, on va voir euh, la, la progression des discussions avec euh, les autorités chinoises, euh, mais on a déjà réussi à régler des situations similaires sur la base de la science, et c'est vraiment ça qui est la priorité en ce moment. You've talked quite a bit about the scientific approach you're taking to the canola issue, but to most people it appears to be a political issue. What are you doing on that front? Uh, once again, we really want to put the emphasis right now on the science-based approach because we've been able to find solutions in the past. Obviously, uh, we are having a wider view on the situation and my colleagues, Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Minister of International Trade are also following the situation. But for now, we are pushing really the scientific approach. What advice do you have for farmers in danger of losing China as a market for canola? Um, well, I want to say that first we really stand with them and we want to find a solution as quickly as possible. And uh, I also uh, believe that all the free trade agreements that we've signed uh, with the Pacific region, for example, we really have to benefit from these uh, trade, uh, free trade agreements and to find uh, a wider variety of markets because uh, depending too much on one country or another uh, always makes us more vulnerable. So uh, I will work a lot on 
benefiting from the new markets we have access to for our agri uh, producers have you heard and processors. Have you heard concerns from other producers in other sectors of the egg industry who are concerned about loss of opportunities in China as a result of this ongoing tension? I've heard a few things from the beef producers who say that some of their efforts to expand market access in that country seem to have dried up in the last few months. Well, yes, I've heard uh, some concerns. I understand that uh, every um, agriculture industries uh, are following the situation closely. Uh, we have very high quality products that we export and I really intend to make sure that uh, this brand, this Canadian brand of high quality is protected. Last question. Madame Bibo, vous avez apporté votre soutien à Justin Trudeau pour uh, votre confiance dans Justin Trudeau. Alors, on n'a pas man manqué de remarquer que plusieurs femmes avaient un message similaire. Est-ce qu'on vous a demandé de la part du, du bureau du Premier ministre de faire ce message -là? Absolument pas. Absolument pas. Quand je, Monsieur Trudeau a mon appui euh, entier. J'ai extrêmement confiance en lui. J'ai une bonne relation de travail euh, avec, euh, avec le Premier ministre. Euh, et je crois qu'il a toujours été particulièrement euh, sensible euh, aux commentaires, aux recommandations euh, de tous les collègues euh, autour de la table. Donc, euh, on s'encourage l'un et l'autre euh, à se donner euh, des conseils, à partager de l'information. Et je peux vous dire qu'à toutes les rencontres en présence du premier ministre, il est à l'écoute de tous les ministres de la même façon. Uh, Prime Minister Trudeau has my full support. I have a very good relationship uh, with him. I can tell you that when we have meetings uh, around the cabinet table, for example, Prime Minister Trudeau is always uh, listening to all the views uh, on every subject. Uh, it was important for him to have a gender balanced cabinet, but also a representation from all the regions, all the generations. Uh, we have a multicultural cabinet and uh, it's important to him and I appreciate it to listen from our different views and it's the best solution for Prime Minister to make the best, solution, uh, the best decisions for Canadians. Thank you very much. Thank you. Merci.